What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone. And today I'd like to talk about five common mistakes I see everyone make, including myself. That is one reason I put this gameplay in the background. While at the end I have like six or seven kills, if I would have done some things differently in this round, I think it would have turned out a lot better. Might not have got the win, but I think I've been very or had a very good chance to get that win. The first mistake I see a lot of players make is not staying together. Strength is definitely in the numbers in this round, uh, in every single round in this game. And I think if you stay together, you loop together, you do not separate yourself from your teammate hardly at all, I think you're going to have a lot better success. In my opinion, even if you drop in right off the bat, you all go loot the same building and you don't even find a weapon. If you come across a, a person or two or even an entire squad and you just have pistols, in my opinion, three people shooting at enemies is better than you being by yourself. So strength in numbers is key. Always stay with your team. Always fight with your team. You know, always be in very close vicinity of your team. That way, you won't have to be worrying about getting shot and waiting for someone to come help you or vice versa. Your teammates getting shot and you having to run at a long distance or even just from building to building. If you're all together, you're going to see a lot more success. The next thing I can say I see a lot of people doing or making a mistake of doing is really not positioning themselves correctly for a gunfight. Now, there's a lot of windows, doors, buildings you can get in. There's a lot of areas within the map in Warzone that are multiplayer maps. Like down here in downtown, this is a ground war map. So for someone like myself that has played Modern Warfare since its release, I know a lot of these areas. While someone that may have not played Modern Warfare that just started playing Warzone when it released uh, last week, they may not be familiar with all of these areas. So always be sure, no matter if you're an experienced player with Modern Warfare, if you're an experienced first-person shooter player, if you're an experienced Battle Royale player, it does not matter. Position yourself correctly for to win gunfights or position yourself correctly to not even have to get into gunfights. That way you can be watching and kind of knowing where everyone's going. If you're down in a, a bad position and start to have to get into a gunfight or you engage someone that's just not needed, you're usually going to lose those gunfights. There's no fault in falling back, kind of, you know, finding another area to get to where you need to go or just completely leaving a, a fight in general if you do not have the advantage. So make sure... You're always uh, placing yourself in a good advantage if it's whether you have to get into a gunfight and you're placed in a good position or if it's you having to leave a gunfight to get into a better position. Just make sure that you're always in the best position possible. The next thing I can say is I see a lot of players camping way too long and I think this is a mistake. Really, if you start off the game and you camp a building, move to the circle, camp a building, move to the circle. I've done that myself and nine times out of ten, I usually get shot in the back from someone that is you know, sitting around or moving to the circle or playing right around the edge of the circle. So really, I don't have a lot of success and I don't see a lot of success, even though you might win a game here and there by just camping from a building and then moving the circle and camping a building. Now, I understand when it gets down towards the end of the round, you need to maybe position yourself in a good building. That is fine. But if you do it the entire game, I don't think you're going to have the resources really in the end, the cash to really have everything that you need. Plus, like I said, you're going to get picked off from someone just kind of hanging around the edge or just kind of moving as a team, you know, kind of throughout the map. And that is what you need to do. You need to be staying together and clearing buildings and just moving from area to area. You do not have to be in a hurry, but I think that is a lot better situation to be able to be putting yourself in than just sitting in one area and then moving into sitting in one area until the end. The next thing I can say is a high kill game is not necessarily a win. I think a lot of people think you got to have a lot of kills. And I've had games where I've dropped in hot and just go in for kills to see how many I can get. But it does not necessarily mean I'm going to get a win. A lot of times I've seen play teams that have won with only one or two kills apiece. Maybe somebody on their team has no kills. It's just going to depend. If you get into a good situation, a good rotation, you can get a lot of kills and still get a win. But overall, and just kind of in general, don't be kind of concerned with, I don't have any kills, we're not going to win. That is not ever the case. You can always win a round and you might get a couple kills at the end. You may be the person on your team that really doesn't have any kills and you're just kind of helping out by buying things with cash at the buy stations or kind of helping out spotting enemies. Maybe you're doing some damage by suppressing enemies, you know, putting some bullets into them while your other, while your other teammates are killing them. doesn't matter. Just always remember a high kill game and a win are two different things in my opinion. And last but not least, make sure you're picking up your secure the location contracts. You can see those on the map, and these are key. I don't see a lot of people using these, and I think that is a big mistake because once you complete that contract, it gives you a look into the next circle, and that is a big plus in my opinion. So always make sure you're picking up those secure the location 
contracts because if you're not, you're really missing out. And of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance, share the video. It helps out a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.